Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. So I thought I'd do a video on treats and dogs and food and problems because it's that time of the year when table scraps gets to be something that uh, our pooches get to enjoy. And so the question is, how much care do you need to take so you don't run into problems? And apparently this is the time of the year there's an uptick on the number of vet visits specifically because of things that dogs have eaten. So I thought it'd be worth just spending a couple of minutes on that. So. I, I mean, we don't give table scraps to our dogs. Occasionally I do, and when I do, if I get caught by Tammy when I'm doing it, I get in trouble because she says, don't do that. But, you know, we love our animals and we love it when they really enjoy something and certainly they really enjoy table snaps, scraps. So there's gonna be some of that that's going on. So the question is, what is it, what are you gonna run into problems with and what is completely safe? So I've got the good, the bad, and the ugly. So let's just start about, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas time. We know what's gonna be on the table. It's gonna be turkey. Turkey and chicken. And chicken, turkey and chick. So the answer is, that's in the good side, but not the bones. Because those absolutely, you know, the problem with bones is when, it, when, it, when our animals catch a bird outside, the bones are soft. Once it's cooked, they become brittle and sharp and they break. And that's where they absolutely can get stuck in a gullet and can all kinds of get stuck into intestines and cause a perforation. This is, in fact, this is so, so bad that this would actually be over on the ugly side. So we're gonna put the bones over here. This is, on, this is, the, this is the absolute gets you. This is the, if it happens, it's not the end of the world. This is, don't, absolutely don't do it. So this thing you gotta be careful about, scraps. Bones, definitely no, no. And here's the other part about this. At the end of the meal, you've got lots of people over there. Everything gets in trash bags. The trash bag's over in the corner. The dog gets in the trash bag and drags the bone out and eats it. So bones, no. Supposedly, the skin, stuffing, not good. And the point about all of this is, is that you want to keep anything that dogs get, you want to keep it down to basically very simple ingredients. So, you know, anything that has been treated with stuff on the outside and the stuffing would be in the bad category. Is it gonna cause your dog to go to the, to the hospital, have to go to the vet? No, but it could cause indigestion. So anything that's in this side over here, these are the things that are gonna cause an upset stomach, diarrhea, possibly vomiting. This is the side, definitely. All right, so let's just try to find something that's positive here. Sweet potato, great. These are things that you'll likely see a potato. Can't spell it right. This is close enough. Sweet potato, but no, no other stuff on it. it. Doesn't need to have butter on it. it doesn't have anything else on it. Sweet potato is great. Um, pumpkin, excellent. The pumpkin's actually very good. Good for a digestion of a dog. This is this is in the very very good category. Again, don't go slather it up with sugar and butter. Uh, peas. Um, carrots. Um, most vegetables are fine. Um, peas, carrots. Um, so peas, um, corn. So corn, for example, corn's good, but cream of corn, not good. So anything that's basic vegetables that are unadulterated are probably absolutely fine. So on this bad side, Anything that basically is, by the way, something else that's a treat that's very good is yogurt. This is good. It's got probiotics in it. Yogurt's very good. This is something you can give a dog as a treat. So on this side over here, it's basically anything that is fatty or has got, um, you know, um, spices and uh, spices and uh, uh, seasonings. These are the things to avoid. All right. So now the very bad side, but we talked about bones, we know why that is. Chocolate. Chocolate is very bad for dogs. Chocolates can, chocolate can cause a dog, actually chocolate can do you in too. If you have to eat a crap load of it. And I've been eating chocolate for the last 66 years and it hasn't killed me yet. But chocolate for dogs, not a good thing. And it's all about what kind of chocolate it is. The darker the chocolate it is, and the more they eat, the more they like to get in trouble. A little chihuahua, you know, a single square of Baker's chocolate could get that dog in trouble. A Labrador Retriever, a single square of Baker's chocolate, probably okay. A Labrador, a whole, uh, a whole piece of milk chocolate, probably okay. But the answer to this is, is just be a little careful, you know, 
chocolate cake, chocolate pudding. These are all things that are definitely on the ugly side. These are things that definitely could get you in trouble. So, so I think that's really, I mean, a lot of this is common sense. I mean, I like to give dogs treats when it's Christmas time and, and Thanksgiving when we're all enjoying things so they can in, in participate too. But just, you know, piece of meat, no problem. Keep the bones out. Any of the vegetables that you've got, absolutely fine if they're not seasoned up. You know, just give them a raw piece of, you know, just give them a, you know, a piece of, uh, you know, cooked carrot or, or, or pumpkin, absolutely fine. And then just stay away from anything that has been, is greasy, it's fatty. And you think that a dog's digestive system, they can eat anything and get away with it. Well, they pretty much can. The problem is, is that you can cause them an upset stomach. You can, you, if, you, if you go in this side here, this is the upset side, stomach side. Get away with it, okay? This side over here is the absolute no-no side. And by the way, if you run into this situation, specifically the chocolate, then I've got a video on this. You know, activated charcoal is, is the treatment. You get activated charcoal down them. And you can go buy that, by the way, probably at your grocery store, even on Thanksgiving, possibly. But activated charcoal is a fix. If, if a dog's taking something that's very poisonous, it'd be activated charcoal. If they're swallowed a bone, you can just have to watch out for the dog because you know, you, you may pass the bone through okay, you may get stuck somewhere, you may have to have surgery done. So um, bones, you can use activated charcoal to fix a bone problem. Bone problem, either they pass or you have surgery. All right. And by the way, something else, if a dog has eaten a bone, one thing you could do that, and you can't get to the bone, it's already inside them, is to give them a pretty good, you know, half a shot of a mineral oil. Is something that you probably have to take a syringe and squirt it in their mouth to, to, to take it. But it helps grease the whole system out, has a better chance of things slide out without perforating something. Hey, have a great Thanksgiving, have a good Christmas, bye. Thanks for watching the, the video. Uh, I really appreciate people who subscribe to me. It helps me, encourage me to do more of these videos. But do remember, disclaimer here, I am not a vet. I'm not a licensed medical professional. I'm purely a person who's been breeding dogs for the last couple of decades. Any information that you got from this video, use at your own risk. There's nothing implied here. And certainly this should not be used as a substitute for advice from your veterinarian or your medical professional. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for more of them. Bye. Thank you.